Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel! Today we will be doing another cooking video. I will be showing you how to make an easy flan recipe. So if you're a person who has a sweet tooth, this is the recipe for you. Flan is a very sweet, um, yummy dessert. Uh, you can eat it warm or you can eat it cold. And the recipe I will show you today is a very easy one. You only need a few ingredients and it comes out so delicious. So let me show you what ingredients you need to make this flan. Okay friends, so what you need is a can of lechera. This is what we call it, but this is, let me see, where's the name? Ah, it's sweetened condensed milk. So this is a 375 gram can of sweetened condensed milk. You need one can of evaporated milk, and this is 360 grams. One tablespoon of vanilla, five eggs, and then sugar. I have my sugar in here. Um, and then you will need a cup measure for your sugar. And in a blender, we're going to put all the ingredients in the blender right now. And before we get started to put everything in the blender, make sure to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Okay, so I have my um, blender here. So we are going to add the can of sweet and condensed milk. This is what it looks like. It is very, very sweet. It's so yummy. You like my cute spatula? Now we're gonna add the can of evaporated milk. I always shake it um, a little bit before I pour it in. Okay, now we eat, we're gonna add the vanilla. This is half a tablespoon measure so we need a tablespoon so I'm gonna add two of these one two and now we're gonna add our eggs five eggs I know I should be cracking them like in a bowl separate and then here because of shells, but I'm kind of good at cracking eggs. <laughs> all right, no shells went in there. Okay, so now we're just gonna blend all this up. I forgot to tell you, you need um some sort of pan to bake your flan in. This is what, like a eight by eight? eight inch round baking pan this is so cute it's my disney one my fall one so now we are gonna move on to the sugar part which is the caramel part where i'm gonna show you how i make the caramel it's very very easy so i have a um a saucepan here we're gonna light it up to medium heat and then we're gonna get our sugar from our mummy bowl there goes our oven Remember, we need one cup from our, our mummy cookie jar, I mean. He's our boy. Let's see. Make sure it's one cup. Okay, so we have our cup of sugar here. So all you want to do is just pour it in the pan. And now, using my other cute Snoopy spatula, we are just going to stir this around. And stir it and stir it until it becomes a nice caramel. You will see that during, the sugar is going to become all lumpy. And it looks like if you're done like a wrong step or something. But you haven't. That is what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to like get all crumbly and then it come, becomes into the caramel. And make sure you have your your pan ready because you need to pour the caramel in here right away. So we'll set it right there. So meanwhile, just keep stirring. 
okay as you can see it is starting to like crumble up so all you just have to do is keep stirring you see it's starting to crumble up see it gets even crumblier but then it'll eventually become a nice smooth caramel As you can see, it's already starting to change color into that caramel color. This doesn't take long, so you have to stay by the stove. Don't walk away. Just keep stirring. Don't be impatient. <laughs> And we're just gonna keep stirring until we only have a little bit of the sugar crystals left, like a little bit of those pieces left. Um, then we're gonna shut, shut off the fire and wait until the little pieces melt. And if you didn't know how to make caramel, that's how easy you make it, see? It's just you all have to be always by the stove so you won't burn it. And be very, very careful. You don't want hot caramel on you. Doesn't that look yummy? Okay, as you see, we only have a little bit of pieces left. So we're going to shut it off the fire. We're going to shut off the fire, I mean. So you have to pour this in quickly because it hardens very, very fast. And then you want to just pour all the caramel around. You see, it's already hard. You see, you have to move fast, work fast. So you just turn your pot, pan. You see? That's the caramel for the flan. And then what I like to do is um, leave this pot. You could um, pour water in here in the pot and then boil it again to melt all the caramel off of it because it gets stuck. So I'm gonna pour some water in here and then boil it so it can remove all the caramel from here. Okay, and I have here um, this turkey baking pan with like half an inch to three quarter inch of water. Um, and what do you call this step? I forgot it, it's the bath, Bur bath, something bath. <laughs> I'll write it here when I remember. Um, but you need to um, have this, you need to bake it in here. Okay, so now we are gonna pour the mixture of the flan right on top of the caramel. And this recipe makes like the perfect amount for this type of pan, for this type of baking pan. It's the perfect amount as you can see. So very carefully, we wanna put this in here. So we have to move slowly. <laughs> All right, and now we're gonna put it in the oven and bake it for one hour and we will test it with a knife or a toothpick to see that it comes out clean and that means it's ready. Okay, so I did test the, the flan. I stuck in the knife. And as you can see, it comes out clean. So now all we have to do is just let it cool. I am gonna take it out of the water bath. Ah, that's what it's called. I think it's called a water bath. Um, so I'm gonna take it out of the water bath and let it cool. Um, you can eat it when it's still warm or you can also you know let it cool and then put it in the fridge and eat it cold that's the most popular way to eat it when it's cold but let me take it out of here and look do you like my friends oven mitts i got these at hobby lobby last year i believe they're cute so we're just gonna let this cool i'm gonna let it cool for half an hour and then i'm gonna turn it over on another like plate so you guys can see how good the caramel looks are uh, dripping. 
Okay, friends, so now um, it's cold enough where I can grab it without the gloves. It's still a little warm though. Um, I'm gonna flip it over to the plate. So hopefully it works. I am gonna run um, a knife through the edges so it could, you know, unstick it from the pan. Okay, and then cross your fingers. <laughs> I think this plate is going to be too small. Wait. <laughs> All right. I'm going to flip it over onto the this cookie sheet instead. Just to have room for the caramel. Let's see. Is that wide enough? Hopefully. All right. Did you see that move, that pro move? <laughs> All right. Ooh la la. Look at that. Look at how good that flan looks. Look at that. So I would have normally just left it in the baking pan, but I did want to show you how the flan looks. Doesn't that look delicious? And then the caramel sauce. All right, let's cut a slice. And then I thought I had um, I thought I had whipped cream, but I don't because it's so good with whipped cream. But let me cut up a slice and then we'll taste it. So here's the flan. Look, it's very like jiggly. That's how it's supposed to be. And then let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that. It just melts in your mouth. And then with the whipped cream, it's even better. I like it warm. I also like it cold. You can try it both ways. Mmm so bomb all right friends i hope you did enjoy this flan making recipe this flan is a very delicious dessert and it's very easy to make you don't need a lot of ingredients to make it as well and you can store it in the fridge i would say for about a week and it'll still be good so i do hope you guys give this recipe a try and let me know down below in the comments if you do and what you thought about it again before you go don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye!